But you decide where all the little protrusions on your mountain live. Little bumps. Maybe? Yeah. How about one right there? But it's that easy. And there is no right or wrong here. The only rule that we have here is that painting should make you happy. You should enjoy it. And if it does that, then it's good. Then it's good. Sometimes, sometimes you may find when you first start, it's easier to take the canvas off your easel and turn it upside down and just basically repaint it. That works for you. That's okay. Take a little white, a little black, make just a touch of gray. Something like so. A little roll of paint. You have to reload, always load the knife. That little roll of paint. I don't want very distinct things today. Just want the indication of little things happening. No pressure. Absolutely no pressure. Just let it run. Follow those angles. Okay, just blend it a little bit. Just blend it. Blend it. Bring it together. Like so. So there's the Alright. Now then. Tell you what, we'll just take a little 
paintbrush working pretty good. We'll just take that same mountain color, same little mountain color, sort of a lavender. We'll tap a little bit right into that two inch brush. Don't be afraid of this brush because it's large. They do wonderful things. Now then, let's decide. Yeah, there we go. Maybe right in here, there's a little, little circle in this right here. Just to make sure we go. Right the base of the mountain. Just tap in the basic shape that you want it to be. I have several of each brush here. I want to create the illusion of a reflection on this one that we dropped in here. Normally we pull down, this time we pull up, and I'm beating the brush just to remove excess color. We're going to pick up a little color and that will remove it. See there? Oh, that's good. Now very lightly across. We'll just use that same mountain color. So we had some, some blue and some black and some crimson. I'll put some brown in it. And some sap green. Basically all your dark colors. Some sap green. Let's grab a What number six fan brush? Take a little color. Just put a little bit of color right on the brush. That's all there is to it. inch brush we'll take him maybe in our world there we're gonna have but this big tree that it would not right come and we have to sort of make some decisions in our world let's just block in some areas here but you decide where all the little protrusions on your mountain live little bumps maybe yeah how about one right there but it's that easy and there is no right or wrong 
should make you happy. You should enjoy it. And if it does that, then it's good. Then it's good. Sometimes, sometimes you may find when you first start, it's easier to take the canvas off your easel and turn it upside down and just basically repaint it. That works for you. That's okay. Take a little white, a little black, make just a touch of gray, something like so. A little roll of paint, you have to reload, always load the knife, that little roll of paint. I don't want very distinct things today, just want the indication of little things happening. No pressure, absolutely no pressure. Just let it float right across there. You just want to give some indication. follow those angles. Okay, just blend it a little bit. Just blend it, blend it. Bring it together. Like so. So there's the Alright. Now then, tell you what, we 
we'll just take the little brush working pretty good. We'll just take that same mountain color, same little mountain color, sort of a lavender. We'll tap a little bit right into that two inch brush. Don't be afraid of this brush because it's large. It'll do wonderful things. Now then, let's decide. Basic shape that you wanted to do. 